Welcome to the fifth quarter. I'm Tara Skipper. The Garden Grove Argos are back in the CIF Finals for the second consecutive year. They'll be battling it out with the Beckman Patriots from the Pacific Coast League for the Southern Division title. Neither of these teams have ever brought home a championship, so no matter what happens, history will be made here tonight. The Argos get the ball first. On fourth and 11, Giovanni Duran throws 26 yards to Josh Webb in the end zone. He's not alone, but it doesn't matter. Webb reaches over the Beckman defenders for the touchdown. On the next Grove possession, the Patriots force a fumble and Beckman recovers. Beckman scores on the following drive with a one-yard leap by Zach Rivera, but the extra point is blocked by Webb. Seven to six Argos. Durant starts off the second quarter with an interception by Beckman's Brian Brooks, but the Argos defense puts pressure on the Patriots and they fail to score on the drive. Webb's in at quarterback. He keeps the ball himself and runs with it. 77 yards to be exact, for a touchdown. The Argos miss the extra point, and the score is 13-6 with Grove in the lead. Beckman QB Cameron beat goalie completes a pass to Andrew Flores, and he runs 72 yards before getting knocked out of bounds. Bead goalie scores on the next play with a three-yard TD. Score is tied at 13. Third quarter, Bead goalie hands off to Jeff Kim, and 15 yards later, he's in the end zone. 20-13 Patriots. But the Argos make the game even more interesting when Avery Williams runs five yards into the end zone as the third quarter comes to a close. With one quarter of football season left, the score is tied at 20. Beckman kicks a 24-yard field goal to give them a three-point advantage with just under nine minutes left to play. Garden Grove responds with a field goal of their own on the next drive to tie up the score once more. Beckman ball. Austin Archer stumbles his way into the end zone and it's 30-23 to with under four minutes to go. It's do or die time, and Webb knows it. That's why he flips into the end zone to score the touchdown and keep Grove's chances alive. Instead of tying the score at 30, the Argos risk losing it all and go for two. But have no fear, Webb is here. He defies gravity again, leaping into the end zone to bring the score to 31 to 30. Beckman fights to take the lead away from Grove, but the Argos defense shuts them down and it's game over. Garden Grove wins the CIF championship 31 to 30. The Argos celebrated fittingly, but while winning the title and the championship plaque, patches, and rings may be fun, this was much more than just a football game for these players. You know, I just found out a day ago that my grandpa, you know, he's, he's going to pass away soon. And, and, uh, and you know, we, Josh Webb, I, I told Josh Webb only, and, and he told me he's going to play for my grandpa. And apparently he, he did it, and we all did it together. They also played for number 45, Kevin Tellis, an Argos player who passed away last year. Coach told me earlier today that I was going to carry the ball a lot. So he put, basically he put it in my hands and I couldn't let this team down, let KT down. So I, I wasn't going to let that happen. We all did this for my, for my brother KT. And I, I love my family. They're all up there. I love my mom, my brother, my sister, my older brother, my girlfriend, her family, everybody else. That's my whole entire family. The Argos took care of some unfinished business from last year. At the time of this story's release, Garden Grove is waiting to find out if they'll have one more game to play at the CIF State Football Bowl games on December 17th and 18th at the Home Depot Center. For the fifth quarter, I'm Tara Skipper.